In this lesson, we're going to look at the count controlled while loop. And to demonstrate how the count control while loop works, I'm going to provide two examples. So let's get started. We're going to call this program while count.py. So the first thing we're going to do is a very simple program that sums the first 10 integers, starting with 1. So we'll set a variable sum to 0. Our first number will be 1. And then we'll say while number is less than or equal to 10, followed by a colon to indicate the beginning of the loop body. And then we'll say sum is equal to sum plus number. And then number is equal to number plus 1. And at the end, we'll say print the sum is. And of course, remember to convert sum to string to display it. The counting comes in here where we're counting up from 1 through 10. This is very similar to the example I showed you in the first lesson where we were displaying the numbers 1 through 10. This time, the difference is we're computing the sum of these numbers as we move through them. And again, looking at the steps, we have to have a relational expression, which we have. The main body of the loop, or the thing that we're trying to get accomplished, is accomplished in this line. And then we have a statement which will make the relational expression become false. I should also mention that in many of the while loops that you write, you also need to have a statement before the while loop that ensures that the while loop will be entered in the first place. And that's number equal 1, or number assigned the value 1. Make sure that this expression is true the first time in so that the body of the loop will be executed. For example, if we'd written 11 here instead of 1, then the very first time the relational expression is tested, it would be false and we would never even get into the body. So always ensure that at the beginning of the first iteration of the loop, in other words, the first time the loop is going to be run or the body is going to be executed, that the relational expression will be true. So let's exit and save. And then let's execute the program. And we'll see that the sum is 55. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 is 55. So now let's look at another example. We'll use the same program. And what I'll do is I'll comment out the lines that we've already used. I haven't talked about comments in the course so far. A comment is simply a line that the Python interpreter ignores, but that the human can look at. So, for example, if I wanted to put a comment at the beginning of this program that said something like examples of count controlled loops, then the compiler ignores this and moves on to the first executable line. So, any line that begins with the pound sign is considered a comment and the compiler ignores it. Comments can also go at the end of a line, but we'll look at those later when the occasion arises to use one. So let's look at another example of a count controlled loop. This time we'll do one a little bit differently. This time we're going to look at how to compute some simple interest on a savings account, for example. So we're going to set up a balance variable and a rate variable and a year variable. And we want to see is how much the balance will increase growing at a simple interest of 2% per year for 10 years. So we'll say while year is less than or equal to 10, compute the new balance, and then just for fun, we'll look at the balance through the years, and then we'll display the balance at the end of that line. Close off the print, and then we have to increment years so that the while loop will eventually stop. And we'll see the ending balance at the end, so we don't need to print it again. So let's review what we're doing here. We have a balance variable and a rate variable and a year variable. We're saying while the year is less than or equal to 10, compute the new balance, display, and then increment year by one so that this relational expression will eventually become false. Let's exit and save. Clear our screen here and then run the program. And there's the result.
Later in the course, I'll show you how to clean up this output so that we don't see all these fairly insignificant decimal places. So you can see how a account will grow just based on simple interest over 10 years at 2%. So 5,000 will grow to 6,000, essentially $6,095. So that wraps up this lesson on count controlled loops. And now we're ready to move to the next type of loop, and that's the event controlled loop.